We've been looking forward to this story for a while oh, yeah. now. UT's French basketball star, Eve Pons, is a man of many talents on and off the court. Yes, Emily DeVoe shows us how he's sharing one of his lesser known skills to help kids in East Tennessee. When basketball season ended and Eve Pons was stuck at home during the pandemic, he came up with some interesting ways to stay busy, like playing his saxophone and cooking. You pretty much started over, um, over the quarantine. And um, you know, I was trying to figure out how to spend my time sometimes. So like I was uh, cooking a lot, cooking new stuff, trying to experience the, the cooking. He posted pictures online of some of his mouth-watering dishes. To no surprise, he says French cooking is his favorite style. French dishes that I, my, my mom used to, to make back home. <laughs> He's sharing some of that high energy in the kitchen during a special cooking class he's hosting for Make-A-Wish of East Tennessee. It's Sunday at 5 p.m. It's a great opportunity to help the community, uh, help the kids to make their wishes come through. He says he'll be teaching folks how to make a famous French dish. Without giving too much away, he promises it won't be as difficult as it sounds and it's bound to impress your next dinner guest. We're going to expect something uh, really cheesy. So if they like mm -hmm. the cheese, they're going to love it. And um, everything on the dish is um, pretty much what people eat all the time here. So. He hopes people will show up from behind their computer screens for a fun evening of helping children in East Tennessee. I'm Emily DeVoe reporting. That is, that's a what? slam dunk. Is that there is anything he can't do? He's a photographer, too. I mean, Eve, gosh. That's incredible. Man and, of many talents. Yeah, and tickets cost $50 uh, with all the money going to Make-A-Wish of East Tennessee. When you sign up, you'll receive a grocery list with all the supplies you'll need for the class. What a great idea, too. Yeah. A really fun fundraiser.